Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to compound assignment with uh, augmented subtraction. This is very similar to the last one. Uh, they're saying that just like the uh, plus equals operator, you can use the minus equals operator. So my ver is equal to my ver minus five. So that means that whatever my ver was previously, it's going to be five less after this little function runs. Uh, we will subtract five from my ver, and this can be written as my ver minus equals five. Hmm. So we want to convert A, B, and C to use this operator. And so just like with last time, um, we're just going to get rid of this guy. And this is how the uh, decrement looks. Um, and then if we run the tests, it should pass. Okay, so let's uh, dive into this a little bit deeper. So A, they're setting, uh, let's do it with C this time. With the uh, increment, we did it with A. Let's do it with C this time. So C is equal to three. If C minus equals one, what should we assume that C is going to be? Three minus one is going to be equal to two, right? So we console log C and it's two. Okay, three minus one is equal to two. Now what happens if we do C is equal to C minus uh, five? It should be negative three, right? Cool, because we're we're uh, decrementing it down. They say they say they say they, they're calling it a compound assignment with augmented subtraction. But basically, we're just decrementing. How can we write this in the way that they're uh, talking about? We still want it to console log out three. We're thinking that c is three minus one. We want it to still be equal to negative three. So we want to still use the same syntax that they're talking about here. And then so we still have it negative three. Well, what happens if we wanted to make it negative um, 10? We would go C minus, minus equals seven, right? And now we'd have negative 10. The spacing is actually not important. It's just for to make it so it looks cool. Um, we're not going to pass the test right now because C is not equal to two. It's equal to negative 10. So if I were to run the tests, I think we would fail. And so the way to get over that is uh, get rid of all that stuff. Anyways, I hope this made sense and uh, see you guys in the next lesson.